normal distribution. Let's look at the course outline. We will define what a normal distribution is. We will look at the property of normal distribution, the steps involved in calculating a normal distribution. We will look at the normal distribution table. We will test our understanding and then we will solve the test of our understanding. Let's get into business. So normal distribution is the probability that is the percentage of an occurrence or an event transpiring between the mean the standard deviation okay so if you look at the diagram below the mean is in the middle and the standard deviation tells how far the event will be from the mean okay the properties of normal distribution is that one the mean which is the average coincides with the mood the mood is the outcome with the heaviest number of occurrence the distribution is symmetrical meaning the space to both the left and the right of the mean are equal it is controlled by the mean and standard deviation as we will see when we start solving some questions the steps involved in using normal distribution is that first you would have to find the z-score then you will use the z-score which is a percentage to find a value from the distribution table and then you either subtract or add to 50 percent we're using 50 percent because one of the properties stated that it is symmetrical the mean being in the middle at the 50 percent percentile means that both left and right have equal measurements okay let's now quickly take a look at the normal distribution table this is how it looks like so the z scores are those to the left which you will use to find the values across the formula for z-score will be x minus u divided by the symbol there where the z is the z-score that is the probability which you will use to find a figure from the normal distribution table x is the data value which you will be working out for the u is the mean that is the average figure and then the other symbol which is the denominator is the standard deviation as you mentioned earlier it is being controlled by the mean and standard deviation let's test our understanding the average sales for a business is hundred dollars and its standard deviation twenty dollars we are supposed to solve the probability of the sales being more than hundred and ten dollars being less than hundred and ten dollars being more than eighty dollars and less than eighty dollars so for solution we'll state the formula for z-score which is the item being less by the mean divided by the standard deviation the item that we are looking for first is the 110 the mean in the question was 100 we subtract it then we divide by 20 which is the standard deviation that is going to give us 10 divided by 20 and it will lead to a z-score of 0 0.5 so if we are finding 0 0.5 from the normal distribution table that is going to give us 0 0.1915 okay that is what we have quoted here and 0 0.1915 if we multiply by 100 we are getting 19.15 percent so because we are looking for a probability above 110 110 is more than 100 I meaning if you are plotting it on a line it will be in the range to the right of the mean so all the options above 110 will have to be subtracted from the 50 so the probability of the outcome being more than 110 is 30.85 percent now if you come to the probability of it being beneath the 110 because the 110 is to the right all the space to the left of the mean is intact and 10 of the space to the right has been pulled to the space to the left so now we have to add the 19.5 to 50 percent meaning the spaces beneath 110 will be 69.15 that is how you work it out if it comes to the sales of 80 the z score will be 100 less 80 divided by 20 because the 80 is smaller than the 100 we turn it around okay so it will be 20 divided by 20 which will give us 1 so finding 1 on a distribution table 
we are going to get 0 0.3413 meaning it's 34.13 percent when you multiply by 100 so the probability of it being above 80 it means 80 is beneath the mean of 100 so it's to the left so if you're looking at the space above 80 you have more spaces the 20 from the point of the 80 to the middle of the 100 plus the entire column to the right so you have to add the 34 percent to the 50 because that space will have to be large if you come to the space beneath the 80 already the 80 is to the left of the 100 and it has moved 20 away from the 100 it means you're going to have less spaces from the point of the 80 to far off so it means you have to subtract from the 50. Let's test our understanding again. We are supposed to calculate the value for X. A company produces units with an average length of 15 centimeters and a standard deviation of 0.5. There is a 86% probability that the length will be more than X. So we are supposed to calculate X. So now we are working backwards. So for the solution, we state the formula for the Z score again. The procedure is that we find the Z score with the formula above. We use the z-score to find the percentage from the distribution table. Then we add to 50 or subtract. So now when we do that, the figure has already been given to us as 86%. It means that there was something added to the 50. So when we take 50 out of it, then it will give us 36%, which is the same as 0 0.36. We are supposed to find the 0 0.36 from the distribution table. We are going to get 1.1. Okay, it's an approximation. So we use the 0 0.3643. Okay. Ideally, this should have been the z-score probability. Then we'll use it to find from the distribution table before we add to the 50. This is now the z-score, the 1.1. So we now have the z-score of 1.1. We have the mean the standard deviation but not the x that is what we're supposed to find so when we put it in the formula x will now give us 14.45 which is 15 which is the mean we subtract the x which we are looking for from it divided by the standard deviation and it must give us 1.1 so mathematically that is what will lead to the 14.45